Cut like a cut in a banana. This is a, a finished one. Just to show you guys. And then uh, I'm just going to show you guys how to cut the track and how to prepare for it. In a very simple way. A few steps and we're done. Let's, let's work. Yes, is this a recording? Hello my friend, here is Bayan with Bayan Reno. In this video I'm just going to show you how to make some uh, sound absorber panel. I'm just going to use the steel stud track. The reason is because it's, it's light, easier to work with and you just need a few tools like you. This is what I have few tools to cut it and then we're just gonna put a uh, insulation inside and then wrap it around with a fabric that will help you solve the song let's do it hello guys this is the track so we're gonna cut it to fit this the insulation you can cut it the right side for the insulation that's the one we've been asked to do like uh, 36 by 16 so I'm just gonna show you guys here how to cut this guy, how to measure. So you not even need this, but I have the uh, high speed square in here. So I'm just gonna go like I have 36 right there. Okay. Then let's say 16. So we're gonna go 36, right? Thirty-six. Oh. Sixteen again. Let's see. Take it right down the mark. Then I go sixteen. Another way you can do it, like you can just put there with your hand. You just go. See, you hold in there, and then you just run the. Marker right there, but just you gotta be careful not to cut yourself. But I show you guys with the square. The square usually is a little bit easy. You just put the square, then you can go like that. If you guys has a wants to go this way, you guys can go that way too. I just have a thin snipper to cut it. This is a, a track. This is a 25 gauge. So 25 gauge is a light gauge. Use the cut. I just cut uh, just the side and then I just gonna bend it. See, in this case, I'm just gonna look what it is. Just go. Okay. I'm just gonna bend it like this way. And cut my next one. You guys to see the side of position, you see, like cut. Off. You guys can see just to show you. You guys can see here. I just cut it a little bit in angle. No, I can just straighten up. Because this here is a straight cut snipper. See. Oh, it just is hard to make a cut right on the line on the first time. Show you guys. Show you 
have a, a clump. You just can clump this guy. Let me see if I can find a clump. Just to show you guys, this is a clump that usually we use to do this job. So all you do to hold it bare and tight, you just put down the position. We're just gonna clump it, right? And then all I'm using is this uh, half inch of steel stud screws away from it's gonna go I suppose that you don't have a clump and uh, you just need to use something it's just a regular wrench right I'm just gonna would do the same job very much. Just about it. We have uh, two screws. We don't need it. Like a ton of screws because this is gonna go nowhere. It's one piece. Okay, just gonna. I don't use this just to show you. I'm not gonna use a tape to measure or anything. All I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put the insulation in there. Like you guys can see, and then I'm gonna cut in here. I'm just gonna show you guys. Here, when I feel it, I'm just gonna grab my knife. I'm just gonna go straight with the metal. See? Cut like a cutting a banana. Grab this side the same way. Push it off and then you just put it in. Done. So this is gonna be like I'm just gonna show you. Oh, what's gonna happen here? This is gonna be covered with the, the fabric and uh, we're just gonna hang it. The wall just like that. This is a uh, this is light, like this is why you use the steel start fan. Very light, and uh, this one because I just don't have it here. But I'm gonna I'm gonna bring some rocks up. I'm gonna put a rocks wall that's even better than this uh, regular fiberglass insulation. I just don't don't have any here on the hand right now. I have on the storage and guys thank you very much guys yeah there you go you have one and two how it looks once the the noise go through the the pump that go to the isolation this would guys uh, buff the sound and it, it really helped we've done it before and it helps quite a bit you can put one, can put two, can put three, the more the better. Something like this with a rock swall insulation, you can do it for less than $10. It's uh, not very expensive. Thank you very much for your support. I love you guys. And uh, see you soon. Please subscribe, put your thumbs up. We have great content coming up. See you.